Hello, I'm Miss Pickin, um, Head of English and Media Studies here at Glynn School. Welcome to our virtual tour of the school. Um, I'm going to take you on a tour of English um, for your open evening. And here at Glynn, we have 14 English classrooms and a large library LRC facility um, that the students use. In the library, we have a wide range of books and we also have upstairs computers that the students can use at break time and lunch time and after school to help them complete their homework. At Glynn we have a range of extracurricular activities. Um, in the library we have board game club and reading club. We also have um, a debate club and the students who participate in the debate club also get to participate in the GLF debating competition. And this is where schools, secondary schools that are part of our GLF um, multi-academy trust compete in a debating competition. So students from Rosebury, The Beacon, Stafford, Meridian, Merston Park and Glynn all debate sort of current events and topical affairs um, in the highly anticipated debating competition. Um, we also have several literacy, reading and creative writing competitions throughout the year as well. During the start of the year we have the Spelling Bee and the Spelling Bee um, is in memory of Tony Cooper who was a teacher here at Glynn School who sadly passed away. We obviously we have the Spelling Bee and the students um, are very proud to participate um, in that Spelling Bee at the start of the year. At Key Stage 3 our students will study a range of language and literature. They will study a range of fiction and non-fiction texts. Our curriculum is what we call um, interleaved and interweaved. This means that our students will study a variety of topics each half term and they won't necessarily just study um, one novel for six weeks. And so in half term one our year seven students will be taken on a journey through literature and they will study a range of bible stories and um, folklore, Greek myths and topical stories that have influenced literature for the ages. They will also look at poetry through the ages and think about how poetry is developed from the oral tradition. They will then focus on creative writing and begin to write descriptions inspired by some of the stories and the poems that they have studied um, in the first half term. Once the students in year seven have studied the stories you should know unit and poetry through the ages, then in half term two they will study the play Refugee Boy. Refugee Boy is a, a pertinent text where they're going to explore issues regarding growing up, friendship, family, um, refugees, race and racism and discrimination which still sadly exists in our society. So we think it's a really important play that we've recently introduced in our curriculum that the students will study in year seven. The students will also study gothic fiction and um, towards the end of year seven they're going to read the novel The Graveyard Book and they will begin to understand the gothic genre and they will study key themes, character, imagery and they will also develop their creative writing and their descriptive writing skills when studying the novel. Throughout the year we will be building on their knowledge of grammar from Key Stage um, 2 and we're going to be as I said interleaving and interweaving key grammar lessons and um, to help develop their grammar knowledge and skills. So in year 8 the students are going to build on their knowledge and skills from year 7. In year 7 they were investigators of language and literature and in year 8 they're going to become critics. So they're going to start to develop a critical voice and really think about the writer's craft and why and how the writers craft their text in that way. They're also going to critique their own writing and think about how they can develop their creative writing further by focusing on different language techniques and punctuation and other creative writing skills. And um, This will transition into year nine where they're going to start to become scholars and they're going to read a variety of texts and think about some of the historical context that shapes and affects the text that writers have produced and the text that we study. So they're beginning of year nine they're going to study of mice and men and they're going to think about the historical and social context of the 1930s in America and how this shapes Steinbeck's novel. They're also going to study a range of non-fiction and focus on the likes of speeches and the art of rhetoric and what makes effective speech writing. They're going to look at a range of newspaper articles and think about some of the sort of topical affairs and current affairs that are in the news and again um, discuss and debate some of those issues. Um, sort of through a critical perspective. And at the end of year nine they are going to study Macbeth and they're going to think about um, the writer's craft and stage craft and in year seven and in year eight they would have studied A Midsummer's Night's Dream and The Tempest. So by the end of year nine they hopefully would have consolidated their knowledge of Shakespeare's plays by studying a range of his works. So A Midsummer's Night's Dream, The Tempest and Macbeth. 
At Key Stage 4, um, we study a range of literature, um, texts, and also um, we focus on the English language GCSE. So we have two GCSEs, English literature and English langu language. We're with the AQA exam board, therefore the text that the students study for English literature would be Shakespeare's Macbeth, um, J.B. Priestley's and Inspector Calls, and then students will study a 19th century novel. So probably either A Christmas Carol or Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The students would hopefully feel equipped to tackle these novels through our Key Stage 3 curriculum where they have transitioned from investigators and um, to critics and scholars. So hopefully they'll be able to really analyse and evaluate the writer's craft, purpose and the writer's sort of methods, so their use of language and structure. And this will hopefully help them with their essay writing skills which we will focus on developing um, in Key Stage 4. Alongside English literature we will be interleaving English language lessons where they're going to read a range of fiction and non-fiction extracts and evaluate, compare and analyse those extracts as well. So the idea between English language and literature is there are crossovers where we're often thinking about you know, reader as writer and writer as reader. And we also offer three A-levels at Key Stage 5. We have English language and literature, we have English literature and we also have media studies. There is also media studies GCSE which is very popular um, with our students. For the Media Studies GCSE, students will study a range of current affairs, they will look at a range of media texts and how the media portrays certain events to us. So they'll be thinking about issues surrounding representation, audience, industry and they will look at those sort of key theoretical concepts when studying Media Studies at GCSE and they will look at those in more depth at A level. We have a great record, a great track record of exam results here at Glynn School. In 2009, in both Englishes, students achieved 94% grade 4 and above and 78% grade 5 and above. Our students um, work incredibly hard when studying their English GCSEs and they're very successful in their outcomes, which we are very proud of as an English department. Thank you very much for visiting our virtual tour and we look forward to seeing you in September.